Are we ready to do this? Are we ready to bear our souls? <laughs> <laughs> exposure to soundscapes, ambient, psychedelia, or whatever, came from Mike. He played me a couple Grails albums, and uh, Zach Wiles' first solo album, and uh, that was when it, I, I kind of realized that it's not going to take a 30-piece classical Indian orchestra to make something psychedelic sounding. This is something that can be done with a traditional rock group. He's most lobos. <laughs> separate movements in there when I said Jamie do you have any ideas for names of these tracks and he said meeting of the woodland elders and I just thought it was like wow that just sounds like a tribe of druids meeting together in the woods with robes on you know discussing important things that druids discuss whatever that may be it was a blanket that my mom made me like a few years ago and it's kind of just like patchworks of like the same kind of picture of like every woodland creature gathered together in this like really peaceful harmonic scene kind of uh, with like bears and deer and raccoons and shit and shit and He had druids, I had elder animals. Like it's entirely thing. up to the listener. The, yeah, the totally. only, the, we don't have like a story book that goes along with the, the liner notes. The titles, we give off the impression of what's happening and the rest is up to you. Are you excited, Jamie? What? You said you excited about the possibility of having our first show soon. Yeah. Yeah. How about you, Mike? What do you think? Yeah. you guys see this car over here? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. It's neat. Oh, that's a Mustang Jeez. What do you think that is? Yeah, it's big on the sun. Wait, come back. Learn how to pick on the sun? This is what the one our nail releases to you. Woo! Kind of sounds like Hank Williams. What year was this made? Was this recently? This is the 60s. Oh, okay. Uh, this is a good song. As long as it doesn't have the N word in it. You should put this on at a party and see Go to Earl T. Music on a Monday morning and watch the little kids that pick up the Squire Strats and plug in and whatever they're playing is probably the first thing we played. <laughs> Crazy Train, Out of Key. Iron Man! Monday night, we'll start meeting up and we should have a definite answer about the gig by then anyway. Jamie's getting into parkour. <laughs> yeah. Like a music video, like and he was just like shirtless and like leather pants, just like. Sounds like video. him. Lust for life, yeah. 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 He's just crawling around. Video, which is like, <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? I guess when we get together and stuff, we have like certain parts where we give each other keys and we're gonna go and something. We do that for a while and then like just yeah, then switch back into what we normally do. 
basing it off of that. Mossy Bricks. Shadow Bird of the Mountain. Oh, or is it a something, something else? It was like Mud Frog? <laughs> was like, what? Mud Skip what? Madness? Like, no, it's a, no, it's a saddle, or saddle bridge or something like that. It's like Mud Frog. What the Muddy fuck? In the mud. <laughs> <laughs> And now we take you to a magical land of musical innovation. Sounds mystical. It's scary, isn't it? I know, I like it. It's not your standard rock and roll group where you have a singer who writes the lyrics and you have to give those lyrics to a guitarist to make sure he writes the music and if those two don't get along it's I can't work like this and we're breaking up. No, we're three guys that get in a room, play guitar, and if we like it, we release it. There is there is really no room for ego trips in this group. Other people, you know, they might find it relaxing. They might want to listen to it when they're driving. Just sit at home, maybe just like zone out and listen to it. Even at work to make you know what's around them so they seem less chaotic. My so brother, I sent him a CD actually, and uh, he gave it to this one like little grocery store. I think it's called the Grocery Basket in Santa Cruz. They always play like really funky stuff at night. I don't know why, but it, it like when you walk in, you're feeling you're walking in like a, like I don't know foreign landscape just because of the people and like I don't, I don't know. They all seem like really like tired, zoned out, or I don't know maybe something else. They like to play like he told me he's walked in there a few times and they just been playing that uh, album. I 
like it. I like it. My brother got it from the guy at Austin Mayor when it's open. Third album, it begins with death. It was the darkest album we had made yet. And so listening to it, it, it just reminds me of you know, the ancient Egyptian tales of the weighing of the heart in order to get into the afterlife. Selling out Madison Square Garden with this band, but mm -hmm. I'm still gonna make music anyway. So whether or not like anything does happen, I'm okay with it. on straightaways, okay? If I encounter Watch the road! <laughs> smoke weed, you might like it. You might have something. <laughs> I don't care. It's a true statement. I'll, I'll take a line from the Metro Van Hart and say, just grow your hair long. Kids, just grow your hair long. And, I don't know, just keep, keep making music, I guess. Go outside more often. The Turn off the TV. Yeah. That's the block. Peace and love, and we hope you like our music. As simple as I can get.